Hello everyone, it's Wombat, and I didn't expect to be making another video again this soon, but uh, either ways today, I'm here with a special video. This was actually requested by K, the number one ranked player on the WBO, for his Baybase article, which I've linked in the description below. Basically, the article discusses the top 5 best combos in the WBO's burst standard format from the beginning of 2019 until the end of GT, which is about March 2020. While this is going to be subjective to an extent due to factors like regional metagames and the differences between the WBO and the WBBA's rule sets, in order to create the most comprehensive list possible, K gathered the opinions of four other high-ranking competitive players, as well as himself, and analyzed the most popular combos used by the top three placers at WBO tournaments during that time. And for this video, I've been asked to go in depth about the number one combo on that list. But before we get to that, I'm going to briefly go over number five through number two. Number five is Imperial Achilles Double O Expand Stroy Dash, which comes as no surprise after King Lufa used a similar combo to win the main event of Beyblade West in November 2019. From what I can tell, while I don't own Imperial Achilles myself, it seems to perform like a mix between a Diablo anti-attack combo from MFB and the Crash Ragnarok combo that I came up with about two years ago because it uses its weight and moderate attack power to bully lighter opponents while also having mid-level life after death with its disc and driver. Number 4 is Lord Spriggan Zero Cross Extend Plus, which is one of the most prominent stamina combos during 2019 because its dual spin nature allows it to spin both right and left. Um, when using certain discs like uh, Blitz or some core discs like this purple zero, well, it becomes a lot more difficult to burst because of these nubs here inside of the layer that scrape up against the disc tab. And it will basically become unburstable with these discs. And with the very good same and opposite spin performance of Cross and Extend Plus, basically the only way to defeat it is to actually knock it out or destabilize it with a ball tip, like Orbit or Atomic in same spin. When spinning left, Lord is a bit more defensive and doesn't have as much recoil. When spinning right, it has a bit more recoil, but also can double as a stationary attack type to an extent. And number three is Level Chip Perfect Phoenix Double O Cross Extend Plus, which is basically a right spin exclusive counterpart to the Lord Spriggan combo. Though personally, I feel like I would place Lord above it, even though Perfect Phoenix outweighs it by about 7 grams and is a bit harder to knock out. Uh, it's easier to burst and doesn't have the dual spin capability that Lord does. So I think, in my opinion, it's a, a bit more vulnerable to attack. And speaking of attack, number two is Judgment Diabolo Splits Extreme Dash, which is one of the most powerful attack types in burst standard currently. It can defeat virtually any opponent by burst or KO using these rubber contact points on both sides of the layer. And similarly to Lord, it also has a feature in this rubber burst stopper that can make it virtually unburstable using many of the same discs that share this feature with Lord, like Blitz, or the purple zero. However, its main weakness is that it takes a ton of both types of recoil, but they can be managed by using the tight disc like zero or blitz and the softer rubber of extreme dash. Although this recoil does have to go somewhere and because of that it loses a ton of spin with every hit it makes. So basically, by process of elimination, that would make the number one most powerful combo of burst standard from the beginning of 2019 to the end of GT, Zwei Diabolos Sting Jolt Dash. And this, in my opinion, is a very unexpected choice for number one, and it seems that a lot of people agree with me about this. Uh, Zwei barely made the top five most popular layers in, used by the top three placers during 2019, at 57 uses, barely beating out things like Balkesh B3. And while all five of the players surveyed included some form of it in their top five picks, none of them have it listed as number one. So due to its nature as a relatively unpopular combo compared to the other meta combos, the fact that I was the first person to use it, 
and I also have the feat of using it to knock Belkesh B3 over the wall of the stadium. I can understand why I was chosen to talk about Zwei, but even I think I have a hard time putting it above most of the other combos that were listed here. However, on the other hand, it's very hard to disagree with K's reasoning for putting it at number 1, because similarly to Judgment, it's a powerful attacker that has the potential to K or burst virtually any opponent it's up against, and several characteristics of the layer make it a little better than Judgment objectively. Uh, weighing in at almost 16 grams, it's about 3 grams heavier than Judgment, making it one of the heaviest layer bases, and the placement of the metal dragon heads on the layer base give it a higher movement speed due to its outward weight distribution. And Sting was also the heaviest non-bearing disc at the, available at the time, and also has a decent amount of outward weight distribution itself, making it a great choice for this combo, though I can easy, easily see it getting replaced by Wheel in the near future. But what really brings the whole combo together is Jolt Dash, because not only is it a rubber attack driver like Extreme Dash, Quick Dash, or Hunter Dash, or Variable Dash, but it's shorter than most other drivers as well, and as a result, it synergizes very well with the huge upper attack slopes on the Zwei layer base. Because of this, Zwei not only excels at getting under stamina combos and lifting them into the air, it also has a favorable matchup against Judgment, and let me explain why. So imagine that you have two attack type combos, a short one that hits upward or upper attack, and a tall one that hits downward or smash attack. In a battle between the two, the shorter one will inherently have the advantage because when it's hitting upward, it has the solid floor of the stadium to brace itself against, while the other does not. And while Judgment isn't specifically a smash attacker like this Pegasus is that I used in the example, the logic still holds up, meaning that Zwei has both the height advantage and the weight advantage against Judgment, on top of taking considerably less recoil. On top of the Sting Jolt Dash variant chosen for the number one spot, there are several other variations that can also work well with Zwei. Extreme Dash, Quick Dash, and Hunter Dash can be used in place of Jolt Dash, but you lose out on the height advantage offered by the shorter driver. Some players swap out Sting for Blitz and Jolt Dash for Dimension Dash to improve this combo's upper attack by shifting more of its weight towards the center and giving it a smaller contact point with the ground, both of which will increase its RPM. This strategy was popular in the New York and New Jersey area, especially with Laser Beams and a few of the players at Pixel Academy. Stationary Zwei setups using Atomic, Orbit and Metal, and Octa were also somewhat popular, but personally I'm not a huge fan of them because I feel they sacrifice too much of the layer's KOing power, and Judgment is a better stationary attacker overall. Uh, lastly, a variation that is not very popular, I think it's only been used once in the winning combos list, but in my opinion has a lot of potential, is Zwei Diabolos 00 Expand Variable Dash. Variable has a very wide rubber tip, and because of this larger surface area, when worn to the optimal condition, it can increase the combo's movement speed and KO attack at the risk of its controllability, and combined with the expand frame, it also gives a surprising amount of precision, allowing it to defeat other attackers more consistently and even outspin a few opposite spin defense and stamina combos. And since I mentioned its controllability, I think I should talk about the combo's weaknesses. So, like all mobile attack types, Zwei requires a skilled sliding shoot to properly use and win with consistently, which makes it a risky choice, despite its potential to win practically any matchup. It also suffers from poor stamina due to its rubber tip, meaning that it generally has to defeat its bone quickly or it will lose by outspin. K's article also lists Archer Hercules as a counter to Zwei, which is something that I actually believe is false in that broad of a sense, though I can understand why he thinks otherwise. Uh, ever since the first usage of Zwei by yours truly in a WBO tournament, Archer Hercules appears 23 times in the winning combos, 15 times, or about 66% of those appearances are during a Toronto tournament. Uh, however, in nearly all of the Toronto events where Hercules succeeds, the Zwei combos that it likely faced off against and defeated are largely stationary variants, which as I previously mentioned lack the KO attack, 
required to punch through most opposite spin stamina combos, unlike stationary judgment combos. While Archer Hercules on Extend Plus will undoubtedly have better results against Zvad than something like Lord Fafnir or Hell Salamander due to its spin direction, I would say that Perfect Phoenix on the same setup is a more effective counter as it weighs Archer Hercules by about 10 grams and has a smoother surface that would come into contact with Zvi, making it harder to knock out. And even then, that's defeatable in a tournament setting, so I wouldn't say that Archer Hercules is difficult enough to defeat using Zvi with a rubber attack driver to be considered a counter. So that about concludes my in-depth analysis of Zwei Diabolo Sting Jolt, the number one combo in burst standard from the beginning of 2019 until the end of GT. But wait, the video isn't done yet. I'd like to put my own personal top 5 and answer a few of the questions that K asked to these top players being the combo that they felt was the most underrated and what parts and combos they think will be dominant going into sparking. So right now, I'm going to post my top 5 list on the screen right now. If you'll notice, um, Zwei is listed as number 5 for me, and I personally chose Double O Glaive or Ten Glaive over Sting, because I feel like that gives a little more life after death than Sting does, allowing it to outspin opposing judgment combos more consistently. I also included both um, mobile Judgment on Double O Dagger Extreme Dash, which I believe is the best disc for Judgment on Extreme Dash, as it fits a little bit tighter than Blitz in my experience, and Dagger provides it with decent life after death, unlike Glaive, which scrapes pretty easily in right spin. And rather than Diabolos, I included a uh, Judgment Ashura Blitz Octa Retsu, just because I feel like it fits so much tighter than Diabolos does for whatever reason. I think just because Ashura having more teeth means that that with a Retsu will fit more tightly than Diabolos does. And the reason I have uh, Lord Spriggan Zero Cross Extend Plus at first is just because I feel like between the dual spin capability and its overall utility as a stamina combo that can also function as a unburstable defense combo makes it a bit too safe of a combo to play and I haven't found a huge I guess I haven't found it to be as weak to attack as many people say it is. As for an underrated combo, a lot of people put um, Imperial or Stationary Judgment as their choice for an underrated combo. My number one underrated combo would have to be Tact Diabolos. I, I feel like Tact is a very underrated layer base in general. I feel, I feel like it's an upgrade to Hill Salamander. I found it to be much more resistant to Judgment and Zwei than Lord was in my testing, and while it suffered the same problems as Maximum Garuda in the sense that uh, it was so wide that if you put it on my cone-shaped tip like Bearing or Extend Plus, it would go off balance pretty easily and lose spin because of that, um, I found it to excel on a ball tip like Tech Diabolo Sting Atomic, which K uses something pretty similar to in his deck match against uh, Nightmare Goku. The thing is that despite having Atomic and something like Bearing Ring Stand Plus having basically the same mathematical chances of succeeding in the first stage, I just don't feel safe using Atomic as I would using Bearing Ring Stand Plus there. And that's why I don't think this combo is really top 5 material. And admittedly, um, I didn't do most of my testing with Tact on Sting Atomic. I used Double O Wall Hold for it. My underrated, I guess, part, not so much combo, is Tact. And aside from Raven Chen and a few Toronto players that K said were following his lead, I don't think anyone's even used it besides myself and K in Beyblade West. And I ran into a few bad matchups which was uh, Lord on, less than Lord on Atomic and then Lord Fafnir around Bearing that I lost to using Tact on Hold, so didn't really get a chance to show it off there. And as for parts that I think would be dominant going into Sparking, um, I don't really know a ton about Sparking to be honest, like, I'm not really sure how a chassis even works or what it is. I, from what I can understand, I feel like Takeratomi has flipped the burst mechanism, so the parts, the disc, is now the free spinning part, 
that has to be rotated in order to burst the Beyblade. Aside from that, I hear that both Wheel and 2A are good for life after death, so I feel like those will work themselves into common stamina combos like Lord or Perfect Phoenix or however they fit into them as the, the primary uh, discs for life after death and stamina. I don't really know if there's been a promising attack option that's been released so far for sparking to counter them, so I think Judgment and Zwei are still going to dominate for attack so far. So that basically wraps up this video and uh, my contribution to the Bay Base article, which is an um, in-depth analysis of the Zwei Diabolo Sting Jewel Dash combo, as well as just briefly touching on other parts of the article. If you want to read the full thing, like I said, I've linked it in the description, and this video will also be featured within the article itself. So if you want to know more about that, uh, please check that out, watch the other videos, I assume there's going to be other YouTubers making videos similar to this for different combos, so make sure you check that out. Uh, shout out to K and Shindog, Red Ninja, Ardmore, Laser Beams, and uh, whoever else is a part of this for all coming together to create this article and these videos. I will have another video up eventually, maybe, but until then, uh, so long.